This is a training session for journalists and other stakeholders organized by the EFCC in Kwara State. The acting chairman of the EFCC, Abdul Karim Chuko, who was represented at the event, harped on the task of keeping tabs on corrupt practices over the years. According to him, it's been a heavy task, and collaborations with professionals like the press will make things much easier. Bears retreating that as journalists, we owe our nation and the entire world an obligation of exposing every shoddiness and criminal act through our reporting. Journalism is the best gateway to whistleblowing, and I charge the media to deploy more time, energy, and commitment in exposing all in our midst. One of the facilitators is concerned that the agency does not get the collaborations and support from other countries in the fight against cybercrime and corrupt practices. Before 2015, cybercrime was not a crime in Nigeria. It was, you know, upon the enactment of the um, Cybercrime and Prohibition Act of 2015, that cybercrime as a term became a crime. So in those days, we were using the advanced free fraud section and then we will charge you for stealing. So even amongst our neighbors in Africa, they have issues of laws or passage of laws. As I speak in the West African region, not all the countries have passed Cyber Crime Act in their own jurisdiction. So in the event that a monies from cyber crime move to a jurisdiction, they don't have that law. It's not a crime in their place. Somebody just dashed the money. The head of media and publicity at the agency had a note of warning on transactions of businesses with cash above a certain limit, which could draw the wrath of the law. Journalists who carry 500, 5 million cash and go and pay for car, you have violated the law. Yes, because you are not supposed to transact that volume of money outside of the financial system. If you want to buy a car, six million, for instance, you need to pay to the bank, to your bank account, so that that transaction can be traced. Mm -hmm. But when you carry cash, you go and give a car dealer, there is no trace of that kind of transaction. If you are laundering money, the, the commission will not be able to trace those transactions. The Lauren Zone of the EFCC laments that cybercrime is rampant amongst undergraduates in Quara State and calls for collaborative efforts, especially with parents and guardians, in this regard. All right, see ya,